Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Steve Cadigan from Silicon Valley. Hi Steve, how are you doing? Hi Meher, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you for being here. So Steve is one of the foremost authorities on the future of work. He is renowned for leading LinkedIn talent push from 400 to 4,000 in three and a half years and was responsible for architecting its more world famous company culture, which we're going to talk about later on. And Steve has spent the last 30 years leading talent and culture at Fortune 500 companies, and today sits on board of three corporations. He offers strategies and insight on talent in times of disrupting through keynotes, seminars, and workshops. So Steve, my first question is, a few weeks ago, you, uh, you conducted a workshop by the title, How Things Will Shake Out in a New Era of Work. In your opinion, where is the future of work going and how can job seekers be prepared for that? Yeah, the future work is going to be more crazy than it has been. <laughs> and that feels really, it's really an unsatisfying answer for people to hear. You know, they want some finality, some some clarity in how it's yeah. going to be. That's right. And and I think this is hard for not only for leaders, managers, but also for people looking for work. Yeah. Um, and so what I'm my best advice is when I think about the future for both parties, the employers and employees, is you know, the faster you can uh, learn something, the more powerful you are going to be able to have control of opportunities in your career. Mm -hmm. Because what every company knows is every job today is going to be different tomorrow. Yeah. So you, you're the skill of learning new things. Now, that's different from what we've been taught, which is master this, know how to do this really well. Yeah. Well, the this now is learning how to do new things. That's the thing you got to master. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that way, if you can learn new things and you have confidence, no matter what new system, what new tool, what new technology comes into your industry, company, business department, you'll have confidence that I can learn this, right? Yeah. And that's, that's really, really powerful. And if you're building a business, you want a lot of people yeah. that can learn new stuff because if they can, your business can move and change as the economy changes. And, yeah. you know, as we record this right now, we have a war in the Ukraine. We, uh, that's changing the the cost of gas and oil yes. uh, and also the access to lots of grains. Mm -hmm. Ukraine supplies about 40% of the, of the world's grains. Yeah. We also have supply chain shortages, which are all over, you know, a few years ago, I was so excited about a hot tub in my house. Today, I got notified by my hot tub, you need some new filters. I went online, sold out, wow. sold out filters. Like this is happening everywhere, car parts, houses. And so, you know, that's, that's not something we're used to. Right. And so businesses are having to learn, wow, we can't, we used to have guaranteed supply. We don't, we used to have guaranteed cost of, you know, fundamentals like oil and gas. Now we don't, we've yeah. got to be ready for that. And so when I think of the future, it's the capacity to change and learn new things. It's powerful for everybody. And I feel that COVID kind of helped the work of hybrid work because within 48 or maybe 72 hours, decisions should have been made by the leaders. Can, come, can people work from home? And they have been working and it's been mm -hmm. successful. And I feel that working from home will be an option for a lot of employers that are looking for jobs. Yes. The thing about this topic about hybrid working from home is that we're not in a normal time still. Yes. We were forced into this. Yes. Uh, and I agree with you that most leaders and companies are more comfortable that they can build a business with more people remote than before. But we still don't know. Are people going to really like this long term? Are people mm -hmm. really... Do companies really think this is going to be the best way to build trust and culture where we don't see each other as much, much in the same way? We don't know. It's still really early. I think early signs are exciting. Like I'm I'm a bit of a, I think you are too from you know following you on social media. You're a bit of a change junkie. You like new things. We yeah. like to try it out. It's great. It's exciting right now, but we are at the beginning phase of what this means longer term. And no leader went to school to learn how to build a culture with everyone in other places. Nobody did. And so we got a lot to learn. There's a lot of encouraging signs. Um, and look at all the, the countries in the world trying to attract 
the digital nomads right now. Yeah. The places like Greece and uh, Costa Rica that are usually are tourism destinations saying, come here, we have good Wi-Fi. Yeah. And we'll lower your taxes and we'll give you good opportunity. That's pretty cool. Yeah, That's really interesting. And we've never seen before. This is really interesting about where we are in the world. We've never seen countries fighting for talent. We've seen companies, but not countries. We've seen... You know, and we, you may have heard we had a president here, Donald Trump. He wasn't that excited about inviting foreign workers. We've had countries blocking foreign workers and now completely different. Germany passed a law about six months ago that is making it easier for knowledge workers to get a work permit, to have tax benefits there. And the German government said, if we don't have, and Canada said the same thing too, if we don't have about four or 500,000 new knowledge workers, Mm -hmm. Every year for the next five years, our economy is in big trouble. So that's pretty interesting that countries are going at it. Yeah. Those are great insights. Thank you, Steve. Again, for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Steve a couple of questions. And I'm going to post them on, on on a week. So kind of a journey with us. We can like all the videos, share them, make comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Steve.